How is everyone doing? Jesse here on Addictive Me. Once again, thanks to DJ for allowing me the platform to make these sorts of videos and help you guys out. Um, so today, I just want to get right quick, right quickly. I just want to get quickly into it so I don't ramble too much. Once again, I'm using my broken microphone. Um, I've kind of gotten used to it now. It's my little friend. Um, <laughs> it works as it should, so I don't really see the need of buying a new one. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very nice. Um, and once again, there's going to be some footage littered out through this video of me in Japan. This time, I actually... Why do I have one sleeve rolled up and one sleeve down? That's a bit weird. And this time, I actually recorded some footage of a card shop I didn't forget. So that will be in the video probably towards the end. All right, so with the last video that I made, it wasn't really an in-depth guide or analysis or anything like that. Um, I just kind of went over a few points and some tips and stuff like that. So hopefully with these coming videos, I'll be able to go a lot more in-depth, which is what I want to do um, and what I mean by in-depth is just in-depth on a certain topic and not ramble about a wide range of topics like I did in the previous video um, and in this video today what we're going to be talking about is scalpers versus uh, versus <laughs> scalpers versus flippers or scalpers versus I don't know resellers depending on what you like to call it So there was a little bit of confusion as I saw in the comments. There was a couple of comments like talking about scalpers and flippers and I, I feel like there's a little bit of confusion as to what um, what would, I don't know, pertain as a scalper. Pertain, is that even a word? Am I using that in the right context? Absolutely no idea. What would be a scalper and what would be a flipper? Basically, you don't want to be a scalper. You'd want to be a flipper of secondhand goods. That's just me personally. I think scalping is not a very good game to get into which i mentioned in my previous video and i'm going to be getting into that in this video today so just bear with me while i lead onto that topic because i love to ramble as you probably know so pretty much just to start is you know, the question is why is scalping not okay, but flipping secondhand product is, I think there's just a really bad general consensus with scalping because you're going into the shop, buying stuff for recommended, recommended retail price, and you're flipping them for much, much above recommended retail price. Where when it comes to, you know, buying secondhand goods and then reselling them is when you buy secondhand goods, you're really trying to find them under market. So basically under market is under market value. So what they're worth on the current market, that price always fluctuates. It's always going up and down. But basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to find products that are cheap in their market, buy that product and then basically sell them for market price. Okay. That's basically what a flipper does. And I don't believe there's anything morally wrong with that. So I just wanted to get into a quick analogy. This analogy I basically made up on the spot. So it might not be that good, but bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. But let's, for example, say there's two apple trees, right? And you can only choose one apple tree. One apple tree basically produces fruit very, very fast. The fruit's constantly producing, but the fruit that it produces, so the apples that it produces, don't taste very good. They're not very nutritious and the tree dies very, very fast. This is ridiculous. The second apple tree takes a very, very, very long time to produce apples, okay? But the apples that it does produce are very, very nutritious, very tasty apples, and the tree itself lasts a very long time, if not forever. That analogy is way out of my league. That is way above my head, that analogy. I don't even know what I was thinking with it. Um, Jesus, that's just stupid. But anyway, um, hopefully you understand the analogy.
So basically you have to decide which tree you're going to pick if we're running with that analogy. How I can compare it to the current situation is the tree that doesn't produce very good apples and it doesn't last very long is the scalping side of it. And the tree that produces very good apples and apples takes a long time but lasts a very long time or forever is the flipping side of it, is the business side of it. But I mean, we can go on and on about morals for a very, very long time when it comes to scalping. So what I wanna do is, you know, I wanna put morals aside because I could sit here going on for ages going, you know, it's bad for the community, it's bad for this, it's bad for that, it's just not a good look. I could go on forever, sound like an old lady like I just did then. But I wanna put morals aside and I wanna get to the business side of things. It's just not good for business, okay? Look, you might make money very, very fast, but it's not gonna last a very long time. You want something that is sustainable, you want something that lasts a while, because the fact is, this scalping stuff is not gonna last a very long time. In a few months, well, not a few months, but 12 to 18 months, Pokemon is going to start reprinting. Well, not reprinting, they're going to, well, they are gonna reprint as well, but they're going to start printing en masse Pokemon product, okay? you're not going to be able to do this for long. There's, they're going to be printing so much product because they're setting up printers. If you haven't heard already, they're setting up printers all over the world, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's what I heard. I could be wrong on that, but I know that they're setting up a lot of, lot of printing presses, printing presses or a lot of printing buildings. What do you even call those places? They're setting up a lot of printers and they're going to be pressing that print button like there's no tomorrow. That's the issue with the scalping side of things. That's the real big issue. And it's just, it's not sustainable as a business. The reason... For example, is, you know, as I mentioned in my previous video, you snipe stuff off eBay, which was the best way I did it. There's other ways to do it, but you snipe under market product off eBay. And I didn't clarify in my previous video what sniping really means, but sniping is basically the newly listed products, people newly listing, and you're sniping them as quick as possible before someone else can get them. That's what sniping means, essentially. Um, and what you're doing is you're sniping these products that are under market and you're, you're selling them for market, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this is never going to, going to go away, especially with vintage, all right? Especially with vintage. Vintage isn't printed anymore, as we all know. Um, I would say, you know, vintage is black and white and earlier. Anything black and white and earlier. Maybe getting towards early XY, not so much yet. You know, Phantom Forces and Flashfire seem to be going up a lot in price, but I still wouldn't really classify them as vintage. But I would say anything vintage, black and white and earlier. Um, you're never going to have to worry about stuff being, you know, reprinted with these earlier sets or, you know, being printed in large, large quantities like they're going to do soon. You don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. You know, like you see videos and there's these people that are like fighting over Pokemon cards in the store, like in Walmart in America and stuff like that. They're fighting over Pokemon cards to see who can go in there and get the most. That is, you know, get the most and, you know, resell it, flip it, scalp it blah blah whatever that's that's not a business shouldn't be fighting each other like that which just goes to show the, the kind of industry that that well industry i put that lightly because it's not really a thing the kind of industry that scalping really is you know it's just it's that type of industry it's very it's very very competitive and especially if you're trying to get into it now or you're trying to you know have a little side hustle going of going to buy out a whole shop with their pokemon cards and resell them for double you're not gonna be able to do it for very long because once again the printers are coming back on opinion it's just it's not business not how business should be you're not a businessman because you run into the shop before everyone else and buy a whole bunch of product and then sell it knowing that someone's obviously going to buy it because they can't get it because you just created an artificial scarcity but i could ramble about this all day um but that's 
that's pretty much how it is. You're not, you're not a business guru because you do that. So I think that's the difference, the main difference between scalping and being a traditional flipper of secondhand good is the secondhand good market is always going to be there, always going to be there. Where the flipping, uh, the, sorry, the scalping market is it's not always going to be there because the printers are coming back on, you know. So the, the competition is already tough as it is. The competition is going to be even tougher, um, you know. And I've, I've heard some people say, oh, well, then everyone's going to be buying a lot more, but buying the whole stores out a lot more. It's just because, you know, there's going to be more products. So everyone's going to, these, um, to put it easily, these scalpers are going to be buying more product and then selling more products because the printers come on. But that's not how it's going to be be working there's going to be so much product that it's going to oversaturate the market um i can see it happening now the market's going to get oversaturated with so much product and scalpers are basically just going to be nullified they're going to be non-existent so to break it down easily if you want to start a pokemon card flipping business don't do scalping because it is the apple tree that is not very nutritious and it doesn't last very long that is the analogy I was trying to get across. So hopefully it comes across now what I meant with the apple trees. Do you want the apple tree that doesn't last very long? Or do you want the tree that produces apples for a very long time? They're good apples and it lasts a very long time, if not forever. That's how you need to look at business. Business isn't about starting something and then getting out of it six months later because you can't do it anymore. Obviously, that does happen even with traditional businesses. That's a disclaimer. But what I'm trying to get across is you should be starting a business for the long haul because you enjoy doing it, not because you can make a little bit of money for a year and then that's it. You try to find your, another, uh, your next adventure. That's not how it works. You should be in it for the long haul. That's how business works. That's the apple tree analogy. You know, these, these people that, that are in it now that have come into it in the last year or so, um, going running into stores, fighting each other, buying all the product and then reselling it for 50%, 100%, 200% upmark sometimes, they're not going to be in it for much longer, okay? Because they're going to be pushed out by the Pokemon company. And I think the Pokemon company, you know, of course... They're setting up more printers because Pokemon has become this phenomenon and they, you know, they realize they can't print enough product for everyone to get it, but they've realized that this scalping is happening and they're trying to push these people out. I really, really believe that, that maybe not half the reason, but some of the reason that they're doing this is to push these people out from being able to go into the store and resell everything because it's not how it should be. That's just not how it should be. Okay. If you want to get into Pokemon, do it the proper way, buy secondhand product under market, sell it for market. You're not ripping anyone off. If someone decides to buy it for market, good on them. You know, if you're selling something and someone decides to buy it for market, you're not hurting anyone because it's market price and collectors love buying things for market price. You know, I love buying things for market price sometimes, you know, always trying to get things under market, but that's just how it is. You know, you're not ripping anyone off. You're not hurting one. Uh, you're not hurting anyone. That's just how it is. That's a traditional way to do it. That's the difference between scalpers and flippers. Okay. I think I've rambled enough in this video. Hopefully I got my point across, which I wanted to get across is, you know, what scalping versus flipping is. I hope I got that point across. I'll be breaking down a lot more stuff in future videos. Um, this was just a quick, not a quick, but this was just basically answering some of those questions that I had in relation to scalpers versus flippers. Um, there should have been a lot of videos pasted out, pasted, posted out through this uh, video. And uh, hopefully you saw um, the video of me opening the cards as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to DJ's channel. Once again, thanks DJ for allowing me, allowing me to use his YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I hope I helped you out a little bit. I hope I cleared up any misunderstandings and yeah, I'll leave it at that. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.